Hello, and a warm welcome from eBike24. A few days ago, Bosch has launched the smartphone grip on the market. That's a smartphone holder for the new Bosch Smart System, which is much more than just the holder of a smartphone. It enables you to charge your smartphone, use it as a navigation hub, and so on. Today, we want to show you how the Bosch Smartphone Grip can work with the Bosch Smart System, in case the Kiox system has not been mounted yet. In order to do that, we need the Smartphone Grip, which lies also here. We have here the display pad with two different options, either with the cable connection facing backward or with the cable connection facing forward. This unlocking device shows you always which direction the display holder should be oriented to, always forward. There's also here the display holder for smartphones with its spacing rubber. This small piece is also very important. It's a lock for the Kiox display, in case the Kiox display is already mounted. This prevents anybody from unlocking the display and taking it away. We have also a smartphone here, because at the end we want of course to show you how this works. A short cable for the connection to the engine. And finally, an hexagonal key and a T15 Torx key. Let's start. First, we screw the display pad onto the display holder. Bosch says a newtometer. Nevertheless, you can just screw it tight with your hand. Now they stick together. Now let's take the distance ring. We have decided to mount the holder aiming forward, rather central, above the stem, but in front of the handlebar. Then we tighten the holder onto the handlebar, maybe not so tight, so you can adjust its position as you prefer. Afterwards, we connect the cable. There's also a motor cable that normally is connected to the LED remote. You should pull it off and connect it to this display pad. It doesn't matter into which socket, left or right. It's important to pay attention to the white marks. There's one on the plug and another on the socket. They must match. Then you need the second cable that you should also plug into the smartphone pad and again into the LED remote. In this case, it's a bit too long, so we pass it under the handlebar to make it look neater. Finally, we can tighten the display pad to the display holder. Next step, we can set the smartphone grip on the display pad. Insert it a little biased to the front and push it to the back and notice how the rule fits neatly. Now it perfectly fits tight to the holder. Maybe you've got an e-bike whereby a Kiox 300 is already mounted. In this case, it's much simpler. You just take off your Kiox as usual and clip it on your smartphone grip that now fits. Now we can set the smartphone. First, we take its cover off in order to be able to charge the smartphone. As we set the smartphone into the smartphone grip, we insert it into the front clamp, exerting a light pressure with our thumbs. Now we can turn the system on. 
it takes a little time, but after two or three seconds, the smartphone grip has already recognized the smartphone and began to charge it. We have noticed from the smartphone itself that the charging process has already begun. You can verify that also in another way. Indeed, there's a LED on the narrow link side of the smartphone grip, which lights continuously during the charging process. This indicates also when the charging process is over. This doesn't charge your smartphone only through induction, so there's no problem to charge it classically by cable. On the right side of the smartphone grip, there's a micro A socket. You just need its special cable. On one hand, you need the micro A plug. On the other hand, the plug for the smartphone socket. This cable you should order extra. You have seen that the mounting of the smartphone grip is a question of few minutes. We wish you a lot of fun with this. You can find every single part in our shop, also in set with a full load of accessories. Just look it up and see you soon.